Folks, I know that there have been hundreds and hundreds of channels out there over the last 15 to 20 years that have warned about, quote unquote, the end, the financial collapse, the coming apocalypse, all this type of thing. And the vast majority of those warnings have been based on nothing. Well, right now, the rich are making moves. The very, very wealthy are doing things and saying things they've never done and never said before. Something's going on right now I'm going to show in this video that should make everybody wake up. And if I could counsel one thing, if you have precious metals or some type of a long-term investment, get rid of it. Don't keep the cash. Turn the money into tangible goods, things you can use. I know many have said over a long period of time that, you know, gold is this great investment, and then when everything falls apart, folks, if I'm down to my last few cans of Wolf Brand Chili or Harvest Cheer dumplings and chicken, I don't care how many shiny rocks you have, and I don't care what the U.S. says they're worth. I'm hanging on to my real usable goods. This is my counsel. And believe it or not, it's Mr. Trump. He's telegraphing something. He is trying to show something, I believe, that nobody is paying attention to. They are all caught up in the political machinations back and forth between him and um, Harris and you know what's going to happen in November. If you look at what he's actually doing and what he's actually saying in a very cold and calculated way, here's my allegation. He doesn't want to be president. He wants to look like and be perceived as he's trying to win the election. But in reality, he knows something is coming that nobody's going to fix. Not him, not Harris, not Obama, not anyone is going to fix. And he doesn't want to be the guy on point, so to speak, when it hits. And I think it's going to hit later this year. Now, the specifics of it and exactly when, I would say probably before the holidays for sure. It's battlefield of the mind, though. It is truly battlefield of the mind. Tactics and techniques. Tactics and techniques for reading people. For looking beyond the surface of what's being said. Too many people are getting caught, caught up in their emotions on this and not seeing the reality. Wait until you see what I have to show you today. Wait until you see this. It's going to make your jaw hit the floor. You're not going to believe it. If you'd like to join us at the Florida Monkey Patreon channel, one U.S. dollar. That's it. One single U.S. dollar per month. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos. Even less if you sign up for an entire year. Fully refundable first 90 days. No questions asked. Let's get right to it. How many of you saw this? This fake AI creation made by the Trump administration talking about Swifties for Trump. Now, I want you to think about this critically for just one minute. Florida Marquis, that's a lot of people. Boy, Trump could sure use all those. Would those be the people you would want voting for Donald Trump? I mean, if Taylor Swift came out and said that based on her you know, belief system and how she saw the world, that she was voting for Trump based on everything you know about Taylor Swift, that would give me all sorts of reasons to pause and think, wait a minute, maybe something's up with Mr. Trump that we don't know about. Now, to be very clear so I don't get demonetized, it was all fake. It was all AI. But Trump did share it. Trump did share the fake stuff. You see, for me, this is the, uh, one second. Sorry about that. Trump's bizarre AI stunt to win Taylor Swift's endorsement backfires. Now, why he would want an endorsement of this girl is this is a video actually for Patreon. It's, she's basically the poster child for the idea that you can have pornography and no nudity. Let me say it again. 
she is the poster child for how you can have pornography and no nudity. It is the most disgusting, sickening thing to watch, her concerts. It has nothing to do with music. Nothing to do with it at all. It is, uh, well, I can't get it much farther into it. We're going to talk about it at Patreon. But that he would want her endorsement or he would want her voters is just bizarre. Now, that's just, well, Ford Monkey, that's not evidence for anything. Stick with me. How many of you out there, sound of my voice, every time I said something about Tulsi Gabbard or Ron DeSantis, given the fact that they both have military-level leadership training, every time I said, you know what, they'd be great candidates for leaders. They would be great candidates to, to put up because they're both reasonable and rational and young and still in command of their faculties and they don't have a lot of baggage like Mr. Trump does. The amount of comments that I got saying how bad Tulsi was and how bad Ron DeSantis was just absolutely flooded everything else. That's why I stopped talking about it. Well, lo and behold, Mr. Trump himself has now pulled in Tulsi Gabbard to help him do debate prep. If I had suggested this before he did it, I'm not sure that I'd still even have a channel at this point. Now, here's the one that's really going to get you. You know how everybody's saying, especially Donald Trump himself, actually, well, Kamala Harris says on day one she's going to do blah, 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 blah to fix the economy. Well, day one for her was three and a half years ago. Meaning that she is allegedly now responsible for or had control over everything that Donald Trump was blaming on Joe Biden. Well, Florida Maquis, the president, vice president, they're a team. They're a team. They get equal credit, equal billing. Things go good. They get. Is that the case with Donald Trump and Mike Pence? Why do I never hear that from Trump supporters? Why do I never hear Trump supporters giving Mike Pence credit for how great things were in 17, 18, and 19 and into 20? If it's the case that because everything's been so bad the last three and a half years that it's just equally blamable on Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, then why isn't it when things go good, allegedly, and things are great that you once again give equal billing to the vice president and president? We never hear it called the Trump-Pence administration anymore, especially by those of Fox News, don't we? Now, what? but what's this evidence of? Well... You have to wonder. Kamala Harris tonight at the opening day of the, uh, or even, I guess I should say, of the convention, showed up when Biden was allegedly going to speak and um, talked about how great things were and how she's not even running from the fact that, you know, they were equally responsible for whatever happened the last three and a half years. You see, they're not even acknowledging something. Because I think they know something. I think they know something. Way worse is on the way. And this, think about the context of the 2016 election. When Donald Trump picked Mike Pence. Mike Pence wasn't even on the stage. Mike Pence wasn't even trying to run for president back in 1516 he wasn't here's all the people that were trying to run for president way way back 1516 mike pence wasn't even one of them you'd have to ask yourself a question at that time why wouldn't he have picked somebody that was at least out there name recognition like cruz or rubio even santorum christie any of them bush why did he go from picking a guy that was very, very moderate and, and he won with, he won with Pence, now he's picking a guy who it could be argued, it could possibly be argued that 
he's actually more MAGA than Trump is. He's to, he could be seen as to being to the right of Trump and having some, in some circles, say more baggage. Why would he pick him? Especially the guy that was touting how the polls were saying that Trump was going to win, Trump was going to win, Trump was going to win. And then when Harris gets nominated and the, the polls flip, now the Harris, now the, all those polls are fake. And then there was this. Trump went to Montana in the same week that Harris went to Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, North Carolina, Arizona, and Nevada. Now he did his, his own little personal press conference from Mar-a-Lago. But then now there's this. Trump brought back Corey Lewandowski. Now those of you who don't remember, you want to talk about baggage. Not only did this guy on camera, on camera, commit battery against a reporter and have to face the music for that, he also got nailed for coming on to a major Republican donor, a conservative, a hardcore Trishel Odoms, or Odum, I guess, pardon me. And he had to answer for that. And Trump was so scared of what this guy was going to do to his campaign, he said, you know, there's the door, we'll pay you severance, but you get as far away from my campaign as you can. And here's the picture of the reporter. She's in yellow. And just right above her here, you can see right Corey Lewandowski. She wasn't doing anything wrong. Standing right next to Mr. Trump asking a question. He grabs her and, and jerks her arm. I mean, it's it was horrible. And then Lewandowski went to work for CNN. Zucker hired him. So... Yeah, I'm sorry, but you put all these pieces together. I think, honest to God, honest to God, I think he's just setting up scapegoats. He's going to set up Lewandowski. He's going to set up J.D. Vance. He's going to set up Tulsi Gabbard. He's going to set up all these people to say, these are the re this is the reason that I didn't win. He's setting them all up. Say, I tried. I did. I really tried. I did everything I could. Meanwhile, something else is going on. Something else is going on. And in the category of that really wrestled my jimmies, the Russians aren't necessarily worried about it. Traditional values will protect Russians from MPOX, health regulator. Now, once again, this is a topic that I'll have to cover over at Patreon, but they have no reason to fear it, and there's a good reason why they have no reason to fear it, but Americans should. Americans should fear it. So, I will, uh... Oh, one final thing. I almost forgot. How many of you listen to the thing with uh, him and the other billionaire? Musk. Trump suggests he'll flee to Venezuela if he loses election. If he loses election, far safer place. Why would he even speculate about losing the election? Why would Donald Trump even speculate about losing the election and fleeing to some place that he feels is far safer. I listened to the, you know, I didn't listen to the whole thing, but I went back and listened to this part of it. He wasn't kidding. It wasn't a joke. He wasn't using hyperbole. You know, there are times when he does, he said things and he jokes and he laughs, but why would he even speculate if he really believes he's that far ahead in the polls and everybody out there also believes he's that far ahead in the polls and if everything with Kamala Harris is all fake 
all of these different all of these different moves don't make any sense on Trump's part. The thing with Tulsi Gabbard doesn't make any sense. The thing with J.D. Vance doesn't make any sense. This thing with Lewandowski definitely doesn't make any sense. And now Taylor Swift? Something's coming, guys. It just, something stinks. Something stinks to high heaven. And I don't think anybody is prepared for it. I really don't. I think a lot of people are drinking some Kool-Aid, and I don't mean folks on the left. I think there's actually a lot of people out there who kind of secretly hope that Trump doesn't win so that we can have another four years to whine, bitch, moan, and complain because there are people who have a vested financial interest in people whining, bitching, moaning, and complaining. Just saying. Just saying, if somebody can explain all these moves to me, these and they, they're boneheaded moves, I would love to hear the logic behind it. Sharing a fake AI thing about uh, Swifties for Trump that, once again, facts first, facts first, don't demonetize me. It was all fake, but he didn't know it and he shared it. Tulsi Gabbard helping with debate prep the literal opposite, the literal opposite of the VP that he won with is who he has picked. And the campaign schedule being nil, being virtually nothing, Lewandowski, Lewandowski, and then suggesting fleeing to Venezuela. It just, this doesn't resemble in any way, shape, or form 2016. This is completely off the charts, unhinged. Something very, very odd is going on. And I I think I know what it is. I really do. I think everybody in D.C. knows and the people behind the scenes know October, November, December, we're going to get some financial news that is going to make 20th, 2008, 2009 look like a warm-up. And all this stuff about inflation is going to go away. All this stuff about Israel is going to go away. All this stuff about your crime in America. There is going to be the time before and the time after. And I think we're heading for that time after, so humbly. I know a lot of you have fallen into the uh, the sway of, oh, gold, oh, buy gold, gold is this, and it's never been, gold's never been worth zero, Mucky. A ham sandwich has never been worth zero. A ham sandwich has never been worth zero. However, if I have a ham sandwich and you have a pound of gold and I don't know where I'm going to get my next ham sandwich from, guess what? I don't care if you have five pounds of gold. I don't care if you have 10 pounds of gold. I don't care what you can show me. Well, look on your phone. It's $2,000 a pound. If I don't know where I can get my next can of cream of mushroom soup or Bavarian style sauerkraut or fat free pinto beans, you can keep your gold. You can keep it. I'll stick with things that I know I can use. Things that are useful. He's telegraphing. He's telegraphing this, and if you have the mind to see it, you'll see it. If you're still stuck in your emotions, you won't. It'll, it'll make you mad, make you angry, and you'll... Think of things to go type in the comments that, you know, are co just directly contradictory just because it makes you feel bad. But in reality, in reality, to say that he's trying to win is just, uh, it's a reach. I think even the left is seeing it now. I think even the left is seeing it like, why is Trump, what is going on with Trump? Why is he melting it? This is ridiculous. I mean, this isn't even, 
even basic and battlefield of the mind. One U.S. dollar. That's it. Even less if you sign up for an entire year, fully refundable, first 90 days, no questions asked. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.